people were coming out to have fun and to enjoy the food, but they were not just eating, they were really filling up. Mm. And then we also saw that people were taking more food and putting it in bags to take home with them. And this was a little concerning for us. Um, we, were give, we were giving out hot dogs <laughs> and, uh, you know, salads and, and, and side dishes. Um, and then we, we, we started talking about it and we realized that all of our programs were centered around food. What about your own childhood and youth years? Not that you're not a youth anymore, mm -hmm. but <laughs> has brought you to this or made this passion that and you're just... I love that question. So growing up, uh, my parents were entrepreneurs. Uh, they came to this country in the 1960s and they worked their butts off and... I can't remember a time where we sat together as a family around a, around a, around a dinner table or a lunch table as, as a family to share a meal. And that, later on in my life, I found great value in that um, by actually living in a monastery in South Korea where they, what? They, they rang a bell and we had to go. There was lots of bells, but they rang a bell and we had to go into this. We had to sit down. Ten minutes later, they'd ring the bell again. We'd have to say thank you. We'd get up and we'd put our dishes away. And three years of living in that monastery did a lot of things, but it reinforced this value of sitting around a table. I had the the um, Tony Martin's guy, crew came in. I bought them a bucket of chicken, and we, we took it to the office, and, and we're sitting around and eating. I don't know these guys very well, and we sat down. We sat around a bucket of chicken and salad and I said guys this is what we're going to do at the kitchen we're going to bring people in we're going to share meals together and we're going to get to know each other 